In today's video, we're going to be looking at another AQA biology practical, this time inv investigating reaction time. Hopefully you've done this at school. It's quite a simple experiment, so you could actually do it at home. The premise behind it is that someone is going to sit on a chair and effectively they're going to look across the room and they're going to have their hand out and someone else will hold a ruler between their two outstretched fingers and then they will drop the ruler and the person will try and catch it as quickly as they can. And then you're going to repeat the experiment and see if your reaction time is quicker when you've actually had lots of practice doing this previously. The thinking being the more you practice, the shorter your reaction time will be. So let's look at the method. So crucially, use your weaker hand. So if you're right-handed, that would probably be your left hand. And if you are left-handed, then your right hand would be your weaker hand. Next up, you want to sit on a chair with good upright posture and your eyes should be looking across the room. Three, place the forearm of your weaker arm across the table with your hand overhanging the edge of the table. I promise this will become clear. Right, I'm so sorry, I really can't draw at all. But your partner's going to get involved in the next step and they effectively hold the ruler. It shouldn't be touching, but it's between your thumb and your forefinger. And it's important that where your forefinger is that it's at the zero centimetre end. So effectively, this ruler's going to drop and then you close your fingers around it so your finger might close around here it could close around here so obviously it will close closer to the one end so this is a good result this result would be less good but i'm just going to write out what i said because my drawings are so bad so step four your partner will hold a ruler vertically with the bottom end so the end with zero centimeters in between your thumb and first finger then we get to the important bit, your partner will drop the ruler, crucially, without telling you when they're going to do it. So your job is to catch the ruler as quickly as possible and then make a note at what distance on the ruler you caught it at. And really, you're just going to have a little rest and repeat. And you should find that the more you repeat this process, the better you get and the closer to the zero end that you catch the ruler. So if we look at a results table, so here's going to be your attempt number. So attempt one, two, three, and this is going to be the distance on the ruler in centimetres. So you might find that you weren't very good with your first attempt, so you didn't catch it until 10 centimetres of the ruler had passed. You got slightly better with attempt two at eight centimetres and even better at attempt three at six centimetres. Let's look at the variables. They're quite strange, the variables this time, because it's not a very normal experiment. But the independent variable, as usual, is the thing you change. So I'm going to change how much practice. Sorry, I was struggling to work out how to word that. I've had catching the ruler. I'm going to measure now with the dependent variable how far the ruler traveled before I caught it. Control variables are slightly more straightforward. So what are you keeping the same? Well, it must be the same person each time doing it some people will be naturally faster than others. You need them to use the same hand. You can't keep switching between left and right hand, that would be really unfair. Use the same ruler, because some people might struggle more to catch a plastic ruler compared with a wooden ruler, and start at zero centimeters each time. So that means where you've got your fingers lined up. But yeah, quite a waffly strange experiment. Safety, really, not that much you can do apart from poke your eye out with the ruler. So wear goggles, but not very dangerous experiment.